Right, today we're down at Dartford, uh, an old haunt. Um, this is where I grew up. Quite a few of um, my subscribers will relate to this, as they're from the area as well. Um, the old gunpowder mill, which I, I, I recently found out used to be a paper mill. Right, so what it is, now this will be challenging. I've actually done some history. Do you want to the camera for you? Yep. So, do you want to turn that around? Yep. Right. Right, so it says here, the water mills were first established in 1585 by John Spillman as paper mills. The site out of use by 1724. In 1732, the mills were converted to gunpowder mills. Now, this is where it gets interesting because there's huge grinding stones dotted all over the site like there's been a small explosion. But there's no craters, so they must have been broken down over time. But some of the stones have been here from when I was a kid, and they've not moved. They've not been moved by other kids. There's no graffiti on them. There's graffiti on the weir bit, but we'll show you that. Um, right, let's get back to it. Um, and then, it says in 1732 the mills were converted to gunpowder mills by Edward Pike and Thomas Ed Edsel in 1778. Following bankruptcy, the factory was sold to Frederick Figor and Miles P. Andrews. The mills remained in... I can't really pronounce this. It's spelt P-I-G-O-U. Pigot? Yeah, whatever. Mrs. Smiles. Um, they, remi they remained in that family until 1873 when the firm was amalgamated w with Messrs. Charles Lawrence and Son of Battle Sussex. In 1889, the factory was sold to Curtis and Harvey Limited for 70430 it ceased making gunpowder in 1907. I kind of cut it off there because I had to actually take a photo because where we are I couldn't get a signal. So what we'll do <coughs> is I'll put away this crap. Um, <coughs> we actually found a bunker. Now when I was down here as a kid this bunker wasn't accessible. All we had was a hole, it was a hole in the ground. And um, Excuse me, my trousers are falling down. I'll tell you, the heat is unbearable. It's like 30 degrees out here at the moment, and I'm wrapping up like a bloody Eskimo. <laughs> but you'll see why later. Some gloves, some gloves in here. One advantage of having camo gear is there's always pockets. Yeah, loads of pockets. Pockets I can't actually get into, but I. Right. Grab my water. Ain't no point doing my jacket up because we're going to show you some of the site first. Mm -hmm. And here we go. Yeah, right, I'm going to hand you back. Uh, now Ready? Yep, now this is the footbridge in. Although there's other ways in, we will show you that. But. It's Claire friendly. Yeah, it's Claire Bear friendly, she don't like much, but hey. Um, as, you, as you can see here, we used to jump around in this when we were kids. I used to actually, believe it or not, it's probably one a bit weird, I used to drink the river water. <laughs> as you can see. It's the River Darrant. Um We're just coming up to the first part of the weir. Um, I remember this bit here being blocked 20 years ago. But as you can see, <coughs> the kids or some animal has got the better of it. Could be over time as well. Yeah, yeah, but there's car damage there, look. Yeah. So you can see, that's the weir. Now we used to block this off purposely with sheets of wood and drop them down in the runners. So this would build up and then work its way round. And we'll show you the other route. As you can see, it comes out there. Right. Mm. Close up the clear. Oh, right, we'll go around this way. We'll, we'll show you the tunnel bit in a minute because we haven't actually investigated that yet. Um, as you can see, this comes down to one of the grinding stones. This was the base for it. Now somewhere under here there's a tunnel 
that goes to it, you'll see with the other one that we go to, but it comes out here, comes out just by the river. And no viewers, I am not getting down there because it's like four foot deep in mud. But as you can see, what we used to do back in the day, we used to block up that one we just showed you, and this would be one of the outlets for the water to come down. And as you can see, it's um, it's, it's not seen water for quite a while. But as you can see, Claire Bears going up across another little footbridge. They have. They obviously tried to make a site out of this so people can visit it, but it's not quite worked out that way. Um, nature's overtaken. No one really wants to fund it, I suppose. Um, yeah, so you've got the Darrenth. This, um, this is another one of the grindstones. And as you will see, as you will see in a minute, this is one of them. I, I reckon these things must have weighed at least a couple of tonne there. I'm not sure what it is. Do you reckon it's granite or something? Um, I think they were made from granite because mm. anything else, sandstone, and that would be way too soft. Yeah. So I think and as you can see, there's bits of these everywhere. So it doesn't look like an explosion. It looks like they've just been broken up over time. I'm sure with enough force they will break. Um, as you can see, get a try out, try out, try out my zoom there. As you can see across the river there. Now that's on the side we come in. People have actually made some campfire going on over there. Yeah, they? campfire, um, some steps. There's a few bits down in the water. Yeah, there's a couple of bits down there. Um, yeah, the water used to come through here at a great speed. I'm not sure how, how it used to power the mill. Um, I can't find any pictures as such, but I'm sure we will. Um, today there's no fishing. I don't see any fishies. Although I'm sure if I fall in later, there'll be plenty to come around. All right. So what we do is we get on. I'll shut up so you can view at your leisure. And we make our way over to what is now an open, well, cave. Um, not cave, tunnel I suppose. There's a little bit of wildlife. Yeah, what's up? Don't you want to get up so I video your ass? Yeah, pretty much. Go on, look your foot. <laughs> you don't need to film me trying to get up here. Yeah, we're going to film. Yeah, that's it. Cock your leg up. Now, the view from behind would have been a lot better, but she's been a sport sport and won't let me. Alright, so the water would have run down over, over here and out there. It's amazing. We used to play down there as kids. Um, when I was naughty and my granddad knew better and I. I used to run away from home, like most kids do, you run away from home because you're not happy. This was the first place I used to come, because I felt safe down here. Back in the day, down here used to be like a kind of second home, you could doss down here. There weren't no kids graffiti in or anything back in the day. Um, kids really didn't hang out here because there was nothing here for them. As you can see. Right, now this site here, you can see there's a nice big opening. This wasn't there 20 years ago. The opening wasn't exposed like it is now. It was up to the lip. So over time it's either been dug out or sunk. But, in the day, the hole here was all we had. As you can see, straight down, they've been putting their rubbish in. Um, as you'll see when we go in. But, yep. They've obviously been setting light to the trees. Kids nowadays, I tell you, absolute joke. Come on, Claire, get your ass out. Get your glasses, get your glasses on, gloves on. Really? Right, so I'm going to set up. Going to turn you guys around. Right. So we're just going to set up. I don't know what's... I'm not quite sure what's growing in this place, but... Um... I don't really want to be we wearing any of it. So we'll get ready. At least there's one advantage of being down here, folks. There's no security, there's no police, there's no military. Apart from us. 
I've got some new gloves, somebody give them to me at work. Um, don't know who they were, tell the truth, don't really care. But um, it makes my job easier. Right. Ready? Yep, really. Which gloves? They were on the floor. Have you ever tried to tie hair up in a ponytail wearing gloves? Well, I don't know, have you ever tried a video with gloves on? Man, I'll, whoever, I'll tell you, who, 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 whoever had these gloves had small hands. They're not bad gloves, people. You still video it? Yeah, still video it. It's on you. Isn't that a better view, guys and girls, instead of looking at me getting dressed in army gear? Alright. Right, Claire Bear's going to video me going down the hole. Don't hit anything, for God's sake. Alright, give me the torches. Alright, down we go. Mm. Look how bright that is, in broad daylight, and look how bright it is. As you can see, there is a lot of rubbish down here. Um, there's also a lot of broken glass down here. I don't think that's a tunnel, but we'll give it a little explore anyway. So, hold on. Right, where that light is. Right, there's glass, broken glass. Ow! I thought that was a tunnel at the back, but it ain't. Nope. Alright. Uh, right. You need to get that light down here. Yep. Coming in? I'm going to. Alright, as you can see, what I thought was a tunnel from distance is um, backfill or something that's collapsed, maybe a building. But this would have been, see, in that corner, I thought that was... Yeah, just don't look at me. Yeah. I can hear you. But as you can see, there's some big ass spiders in here. Mm. I've just noticed, they are huge. Look at the egg, egg sacs everywhere. Yep. Shit, really? Excuse my French, but I fucking hate spiders. Even though I fucking live with them. Man, these spiders look really weird. What colour are they if they're a false widow? Um, they have like a gold horseshoe on their back. Yeah, I can't quite make out oh, what that. loads of butterflies down here. Yeah, I've got loads of fucking spiders up this end. Yeah, so... Someone's obviously... Yeah, there's a spider hanging from an egg sack over there. They're, they're, they're false widows. Great, thanks for that. What? Are they poisonous? Um, no, not that you have a, a reaction to them, they're fine. Right, so... There's um. right here where we came in. Yep, it's a false widow. Right, there's one right there and all, look. No, it's not. Don't hurt them. Fuck hurting them, I've got to get back out of here. Right, so we're going to call that... We're going to call that a... End. For now. And we'll see you guys later. Bye.